Though Krotos managed to escape, the Horde continued on a glorious triumphal march. Now the time had come to set an example. A deed of particularly heinous evilness would inspire the creatures of the Horde to greater things. To this purpose, the Horde moved deep into the wealthy heartland of the Alliance. It was on the hunt for a creature whose sugar-sweet kindness and cordiality would rot the tusks of an orc. A unicorn. The Horde had grown impressively. Many goblins and nagas had joined the military evil's army, but evil was still not satisfied. To evolve any further, a particularly vile act would be needed. There was an enchanting fairy-like being in these lands, whose goodness oozed out through its every pore. The death of the unicorn would inspire the Horde to even greater deeds. Moreover, its head would look really nice hung over the fireplace. However, this creature was not only strong, but it possessed an inner magic that could become even the most vicious orc and make it change allegiance. Help would be required in order to ensure the Horde wasn't transformed into a pathetic heap of flower-gathering hippies. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Rumor had it, there was an ancient cave here, once inhabited by orcs. Perhaps the ultimate evil would find some answers there. Just realized I skipped a paragraph, sorry. <clears throat> there were three upwardly mobile alliance cities in the vicinity. Previously, these have been industrial centers with well-regulated trades. However, in recent years, the banking industry had grown exponentially, and so now all the inhabitants work for the banking sector. These cities have been networked together by a well-guarded road system, colloquially referred to as Wall Street. This is really relevant.
Royal Aid had reached one of the threatened banks in the shape of a gold-laden donkey. A well-functioning financial bubble like that would always be a law not just to bankers, but to heroes as well, looking for somewhere to store the proceeds of their last borrows. Once this was done, they marched straight for the nearest dungeon. Unfortunately, that belonged to the ultimate evil, and as dungeons go, would prove a very hard nut to crack. The ultimate evil would not permit any further gold transports to reach a bank in distress. This was in order to prevent the emergence of any more heroes. Greedy people were challenging the mean evil's use of space underground. They would soon learn, in an extremely painful manner, that the evil simply wasn't interested in sharing. There are enemies in your dungeon.
another bank required government help, immediately a gold-laden donkey headed out onto Wall Street. had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Payday. The procrastinating evil had still not taken a look at the Orc Cave, and therefore had had no chance so far of being able to defeat the Unicorn. Maybe the time had finally come to investigate this cave. Another bank had been rescued by lavish government bonds. Last 
worker had been expelled from the gold mine. This underground area was now held firmly in the iron grip of the ultimate evil. Well, in the hand of terrors, actually, as evil wasn't so hot at moving around. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Hopefully no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. It's payday. Once again, a bank had got into difficulty and shouted loudly for government support. A gold convoy started making its way along the walls.
The Horde was preparing to attack one of the cities, but the reluctant evil did not feel quite strong enough. The next task was to take care of the Unicorn, as this evil deed would help to strengthen its army. There was still that old orc cave, which may turn out not to be quite so empty. The ultimate evil would be well advised to take a look around. Another gold transport was stopped by the creatures of the vile evil. Payday. entrance to the old orc cave was in this area of the overworld. The ultimate evil instructed its creatures to enter it. They were to look for something useful to fight the moon.
of the overworld housed an old but functional hero's entrance that led into the underground close to the dungeon. The ultimate evil decided to secure it in order to use it as another secret means of sneaking up to the surface. The area around the old hero's entrance had been secured. From now on, the vile evil would be able to use this for its own purposes. Suddenly, the creatures of the abominable evil itched all over and started scratching their bodies. This was bound to have been caused by the presence of the nauseatingly good unicorn rubbing off on them. Once again, a gold transport was required. A strange odor spread through the ultimate evil's dungeon. It vowed that in the future, it would eat fewer beans. Payday!
Once again, a transport of gold had reached one of the cities and so saved a bank. The creatures of the ultimate evil entered the Orc Cave, referred to as DF9 with trepidation. Due to the greed of its owners, this ambitious building project had never quite been. However, there was bound to be something here that would prove useful in defeating the Unicorn. At least, that's what the strategy guide kept saying. Payday. An orc emerged from the darkness, muttering, Roy, show me what you've got there. He started attacking the creatures of the ultimate evil. After a tough battle, the mysterious orc was slain. What was all that about? Suddenly the corpse of the orc began to disintegrate. At the same time, something could be seen moving by that strange altar in the orc cave. 
Was that his spirit floating in the air over there? After a few seconds, the strange altar appeared to set the orc free. It would seem he had risen from the dead. He now happily joined the horde, having ensured their fighting skills were up to scratch. This strange altar was impressive. Perhaps the ultimate evil would soon be able to build something like this in its own dungeon, once it had inspired its monsters through an act of evil. The hungry evil was in the mood for horse salami. The time had come to get rid of the unicorn. Avoid the fratricidal war. Each sliver of a soul exists in its own right. Him again? Good grief, can't he and his pseudo-mystical babbling go somewhere else? We're trying to tell a story here. Evil's horde fervently destroyed one of the gold transports and greedily helped themselves to its contents. Payday.
the unicorn was still very much alive and kicking. Once again, a banker got into difficulty and shouted loudly for government support. A gold convoy started making its way along Wall Street. The horde's bloodthirsty monsters killed the disgustingly fluffy unicorn on behalf of the ensconced evil. For the troops, this meant only one thing. Horse salami. But wait, that's not all. This evil deed completely delighted the horde and inspired it to new evil deeds. The ultimate evil was now able to get its servants to upgrade the throne room. This would give access to more fabulously diabolical things. The ultimate evil returned to its throne room at once and had it upgraded immediately. The swanky evil's new throne room shone in all its glory. The evil immediately checked out the other rooms, particularly the Tinkerer's Cave, to see what new things its creatures would be able to research now. The strange altar in the old Orc Cave was fascinating. With the new and improved throne room and a little brain power, it would presumably not be beyond the wit of the ultimate evil to build one in its own dungeon. There, it could be made available to all its creatures. The evil and heinous acts perpetrated by the ultimate evil left the cities feeling threatened, and they hired extra guards to protect them. The amused evil sniggered as it noticed this. without saying that the servants of the ultimate evil intercepted this gold transport as well. Payday. The city by the forest and its lumber camp held up well, 
but were not able to tactically outwit the dastardly evil's genius, and so the city was destroyed by the Horde. The question now arose whether the Horde should start felling trees here, or whether that would enrage the Night Elves. What? Night Elves? Oh, wrong game. Apologies. New research was available in the Tinkerer's Cave, in particular, a new room. Again, a gold transport was required. The strange altar was finally researched and ready to be built. Soon, any creatures who were stupid enough to die in the overworld could be brought back to life. That is, if it were desirable to do so. offered little resistance against the Horde. The thought of getting the fishermen to work for it was quickly rejected by a doubtful evil. It was concerned that the Horde would get too used to something so tasty. Another bank had been rescued by lavish government bonds. The cities had still not all been wiped from the face of the overworld. It was time that the lazy evil finally got around to doing something about it. There are enemies in your dungeon.
It's payday. The ultimate evil's little snots had torn down a wall, just as they had done a thousand times before. However, as this one collapsed, it revealed a large cave, inhabited by several fat and particularly obnoxious spiders. This plague had to be stopped as quickly as possible, otherwise these disgusting creatures would spread through the underground like lightning. Unbelievably evil destroyed all the spiders with almost absurd ease and thereby discovered a resource for cheap leather shoes. It also discovered another path to the surface, which would come in very useful in the future. Ultimate Evil still had to expand the arena in order to make it really useful. A fighting pit would enable it to improve one of its creatures and train them to be an even better fighter. Exercise equipment would allow its minions to relax and ensure they didn't get bored. The Generous Evil had placed a few bits of training equipment into the arena. These were set to effectively transform the monsters from wobbly jellies into pert, crisp vegetables. Sweaty creatures would have no time to get bored. A fighting pit had been built. The secretive evil immediately grabbed one of its creatures and threw the wretch into it in order to be trained. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But that's exactly what happened. The tedious evil had still not destroyed all the cities and by now had exceeded the time frame the developers had designated for this task. One of the creatures found himself in the fighting pit and somewhat reluctantly, after being convinced by the persuasive power of violence, began training. Your dungeon is full of yogurt. Yogurt? What's this all about? There's absolutely no yogurt. Oh, oh, it's supposed to be a funny illusion, I see. Very funny.
Mission accomplished. The creature had finished its training and evolved. Smugly, the ultimate evil patted itself on the back. It's payday. Ultimate Evil had decided how to train the creature and got the dummy dancing. Or rather, its creature got the dummy dancing. The training dummy. The cities had still not all been wiped from the face of the overworld. It was time that the lazy evil finally got around to doing something about it.
It's payday. The tedious evil had still not destroyed all the cities and by now had exceeded the time frame the developers had designated for this task. This was not going to be helpful for its high score at all. Oh, wait, what? No high scores? Oh, well, just completely ignore that then.
It's payday. the marauding horde and became victim to the bloodthirsty warriors. The survivors would be allowed to continue working in the quarry. They'd just be made to do it in chains to please the insidious evil. Mission accomplished. The unicorn graced the ultimate evil's mantelpiece. The cities lay in ruins and Wall Street was occupied. 99% of the mission objectives had been completed. Wait, no, it's 100%. Excellent. <laughs>